tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do a stem stitch. Unlike running stitch and back stitch, a stem stitch creates an almost seamless line of stitch, making it very useful in a wide range of stitching styles. I'll mostly use stem stitch when I'm outlining, lettering, creating flower stems or anywhere that needs straight lines. I do my stem stitch a little differently from other people, so today I'm going to show you my way. I generally stitch my stem stitch from the left to the right, so I start by bringing my needle up at the very beginning. I'll create one straight stitch a few millimetres long. I'll then bring my needle back up about a stitch length in front of the last stitch that I've created. I'm now going to go back and push the first stitch to the side, sliding the needle in underneath the last stitch about halfway along the length, and then pull the needle back through. I continue the same process of coming up in front of the last stitch and then going back and manipulating the stitch before it. It won't be until the third or fourth stitch that you begin to notice a seamless line is created. It's okay that your most recent stitch might sometimes look a little out of place. Remember that you're always coming back with the next stitch to push your last stitch into place and anchor it to where you want it to sit. When you get to the end of your line, take your thread to the back, thread your needle through the last two stitches and back through the loop and pull tight to create a knot. Cut your thread loose and you're all done. I'm now going to stitch the curved line. To do this I'll be working again from left to right and I'll be using my Phineas thread from my namesake range. Like before, bring your needle up at the starting point, create your first stitch, bring your needle back up a stitch length in front of the end of the last stitch, and then you're going to go back and manipulate your last stitch into place by sliding underneath it about halfway along. Come up again in front of that stitch, and go back and manipulate your last stitch as you did your first. Once again, it won't be until you get to your third or fourth stitch that these stitches begin to form a seamless line. As you get used to the running stitch, you'll realize that you can manipulate your stitches in either direction, whether it be to the left or right. It doesn't matter which direction you work in, but you do need to make sure that you maintain the same direction for the whole of the line or the shape that you're working on.
At the end of the line, take your needle to the back of your work, slide it through the end of the last two stitches and back through the loop. Pull tight and create a nice tight knot. Snip your remaining thread off and you're done. Now you know how to do stem stitch. Thanks for watching.